And we'll get like a few more comments. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. You know, we've been doing a lot of vanilla runs lately, which, you know, keep it spoiler free for the Twitch chat because this is going to go up on YouTube later. Uh, but the vanilla runs have been turning out really well, so we haven't seen any really huge, like, challenge runs rise to the top of the comments lately. So I thought, why don't we do some more live episodes so that Twitch can yell at me in the meantime? And I do have a better recording setup now, so I doubt that the chat uh, will actually end up having technical difficulties with Camtasia as it used to oftentimes. In any case, let's just get started here and we will random. And we'll random as Kane, and this seems like a good way to start my day. So first things first, thanks to everyone who is watching uh, on Twitch live right now. This is kind of an impromptu stream that we decided to do, uh, well, we being me, the royal we, if you will, uh, decided to do at kind of the last minute here just to have some fun on a nice little Saturday afternoon, which is always going to irritate people on YouTube because people are going to be like, fuck, you know, you said you recorded this on a Saturday. It's going up like next Thursday. Unsub Northern Lion 0 out of 10 dot JPEG. What do we have in our first item room? Dad C Scrolls. I always wonder about Dad Sea Scrolls. It has the potential to be pretty good. I was actually talking to uh, Phil Kohler from Polygon uh, about the Binding of Isaac Live Racing League, and I did not know that Dead Sea Scrolls was actually, you know what, just to placate you guys. I know this is going to cost me a spirit heart, but it's maybe worth it nonetheless. Uh, well, maybe not for spiders, but uh, he said, and this was news to me, that um, apparently the uh, Binding of Isaac Racing League bans the use of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, because it can sometimes give you the shovel, I guess, and the shovel is not supposed to be uh, allowed. In any case, I'm just saying. It's kind of interesting to me, because I think it's a bad item, and it's interesting to see it being banned in, I guess, the closest thing that Isaac has to competitive play in its current version anyway. So I lost all of my spirit hearts there like a total idiot. Oh, it can also give you the Bible. That's another reason they hate it. Okay, or they don't allow it. I guess hate is a strong word in this situation. So I lost all of my spirit hearts by being a big ding-dong, but I also did pick up our cube of meat. Let's go down to the next floor. I went to the curse room, you savages. Don't go off on me for that. So first floor, pretty decent. Nothing amazing, but, um, you know, well, might as well use Dead Sea Scrolls, I guess. Get a Wheel of Fortune card out of that. Big effing deal. Uh, and without any bombs, it's not going to be possible for me to blow up that Tinterog. Don't talk to me about the curse room, chat. I'm starting to think that people are being insincere on the internet. And that surprises me a great deal. Come down here, and uh, we do have a champion here, and I'm hoping that he gives me a bomb so I can get back some of those spirit arts that essentially I just threw away on the last floor for no good reason. Uh, one second here, let's take out this. Uh, playing with fire here. Kevin Federline's best album, in my opinion. Uh, we'll come down here a little bit. By the way, somebody is telling me to lower the audio. Do you mean lower my audio, like the game audio, or lower the uh, voice? I'll wait a second here. Don't tell me to play Katawa Shoju. Northern Lion, lower your mic, it's clipping. Your voice is really loud, brother. Okay, give me a second here. We'll go recording devices, and you can see this thing. This is live entertainment, people. Levels, and we'll lower that down to like six or seven. And, ooh, that's still, we'll, we'll try this again. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I did like cut my volume in half there. God damn is loud. I apologize, you know. Normally, in post-production, you can lower your audio. Lower game audio also. Voice, raise your mic. When did you start streaming? Ah, oh, back when I was just a little bitty boy. Living in a box under the stairs. Anyway, we have two keys left, so I will definitely go to the item room. I just want to focus on the game. I'm focusing on this Twitch nonsense coming out of the chat right now. I mean, also, thank you for the Twitch nonsense that made it so this video wasn't going to be a, a total disaster. Attack fly. Solid-ish item, I guess I will take. Uh because it is a passive and I don't have any control in the matter otherwise. Um, sure, let's continue going to the right here, and uh, we are going to have a potential to get a deal with the devil, maybe. I understand Curse Room is definitely a possibility. If I don't have Spirit Hearts, I might as well go for it. And we do have another Tinted Rock back there, and another Secret Room here. Okay, one second. Use this, Yum Heart. That was interesting. Uh, we have Guppy's Paw now, which is very weird. Um... I think I want to stick with Guppy's Paw. Man, I'm going to come so close to dying just from walking out of here. This is very strange. Uh, an unusual series of events for sure. I almost got myself killed just from walking in there. We do have a Tinted Rock back here that I can come and pick up, which I'm definitely going to do because Tinted Rocks... Oh, wait a minute. Because uh, Tinted Rocks can contain Spirit Hearts, which might save my life at this point. And uh, now I say we move onwards. And again, the thing with Guppy's Paw is that, for the most part, I think it's in my best interest to... Uh, save using it until the end of the game. Like, it's tempting to use it right now, 
Uh, but if I can save it until I know that there's not going to be any more deals with the devil, it's probably going to be a better option. I am interested to in seeing in the chat, by the way, uh, whether people would have taken the unicorn horn there, or Guppy's Paw, or Dead Sea Squirrels. But I do think that uh, it's probably in my best interest to roll with Guppy's Paw in this situation. I'm going to go the whoa! Okay, I'm not going to take that. Now I desperately wish that I had not come into this room. Uh, because there is always a chance, as I'm just dodging here, that I will accidentally go across the tick, and that could ruin this run right from the get-go, uh, unless I was to get a Mom's Purse later. But anyway, let's just ignore this for now. The attack fly, not really doing too much for me yet, but if I play with a little bit more uh, consciousness, I guess I might be able to make it work to my advantage. There is a red heart there that I'm not that interested. Uh, let's pop open this golden chest, just because I have a lot of extra keys right now. Devil card, not really worth it. Uh, that is a Book of Belial shaped fire room, and this is a long floor here. I wish I had one more bomb so I could open up this tinted rock, obviously. Small rock would be a huge get for us at this point. We're still pretty offensively lacking. I mean, it is only the second floor, uh, but still. Let's pop this open, and sometimes ask and ye shall, ye shall receive. There's another spirit heart for us that hopefully will uh, guarantee us a little bit more survival. If I can carry these onwards until I get the Polaroid and uh, am able to use Guppy's Paw to give us permanent invincibility, I would be a happy camper. We're going to be going up against Monstro here, which should be an easy fight. And again, probably hoping at this point that Monstro gives me HP. Uh, did he bump up against, like, the attack fly in the air there? That was very strange. Uh, I, I always, like, end up in a situation where people, like, tell me to use my attack fly more deliberately. They're like, you know, stand near him and get the attack fly to orbit around him, and then I end up taking more damage as a result because I don't have the skills necessary to, you know, play with that kind of skill, essentially. That was the most awkward sentence I think I've said in quite some time. Anyway, Monstro is gonna be dead. No deal with the devil. A range upgrade. Uh, thank God. I really desperately need that right now. And, uh, what else should I roll with here? I'm gonna save my key, not go to the shop, instead we'll just go down to the next floor. And again, not use Guppy's Paw just yet. That's just cause you're a scrub, Ryan. Well, you're not wrong. I am probably one of the more scrub-like Ryans that plays, uh, uh, The Binding of Ice. Keep in mind, you know, I believe Cobalt Streak is named Ryan. Also, Omrecker's named Ryan, so I, there's something a, about being named Ryan and being better than me at video games. Sometimes I'm better than myself at video games. I've gotta admit. You know, when you go back to, like, an old save in Project Gotham Racing 2 or something, and you're like, man, I used to be so good at this game. Now I can't even beat Castle 8 in my TBR Speed 12. You're not Ryan, you're Ryab. Let's not start with that again. The whole Ryab story, it's all Josh's fault. So, you know, Josh and I have known each other, Jason with OTI, if you're watching on YouTube and, you know, not familiar with him. Um, oh, that was kind of close. Uh, we've known each other for like eight or nine years at this point. We had a mutual friend uh, who was called Shraz, that was his name. And he called me Ryab once by accident, and then, uh, you know, everybody else, all the sensical people in the world let that, you know, pseudo-meme die. But Josh has kept it alive for the past eight years, and now Twitter is catching on, and, uh, you know, the deliberate misspelling of my name is the height of comedy, apparently. I don't even disparage it, it's kind of a, you know, it, it's like a pet name, I guess. I kind of like it. Uh, do we want the devil card, or the death card? Well, we'll keep the devil card with us, I'm just gonna use the death card to basically clear out this room as quickly as possible. More keys. We're definitely not in the position as... Oh my god, we got another attack fly. Now all we need to do is get like a bunch of uh, guppy items so that we can start creating flies constantly. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to take this devil card with me. I totally forgot what I was going to say. We're definitely not at the point where we're uh, super strong yet. So we're going to be looking for more HP, possibly parlaying that HP into a deal with the devil. Uh, I, I have to be cautious with this because I always worry about the flies accidentally hitting the TNT. I don't even know if they can. But, you know, you, there's weird interactions with some items in uh, The Binding of Isaac, obviously. Like, for example, if you have... Ooh, one second here. Let, let's go fight the boss first. And we'll see who it is. It's uh, Little Chad, which is not my favorite, especially, you know, when we have Guppy's Paw, and thus we'll probably be rolling entirely on Spirit Hearts eventually. But he's easy enough to kill, and he, he might give us some hearts that could... I don't know. Oh, that was really stupid. Uh, he might give us some hearts that could uh, help us win some HP upgrades from the blood bank or something eventually. So, let's check out our deal with the devil here. We still have zero... Uh, extra HP upgrades. I'm looking at this and I'm like, should we do this? I don't think it's worth it at this point. But I'm willing to, uh, I mean, people are always like, go get the pact, because then you'll get the spirit hearts. Um, but I'm waiting for the the word of Almighty Bizsnap. Don't do it, take one, do it, mark, then pact would be fun. I'm confused here. Pa everyone's telling me to take the pact. Okay, I will do it. This is the pact. I'm gonna pick it up. We got four spirit hearts. Beautiful. So we're gonna do a little bit more damage here. Not sure how I feel about this. I am gonna open up the library here just to see if we. Ha oh my god, are you kidding me? 
So we have a uh, Book of Shadows, which I guess I could probably... Let's try something a little funky here. I definitely do want to stick with Guppy's Paw. Uh, but I'm going to take... Um, Pack didn't go minus two. What a scrub. Or sorry, I didn't go minus two by getting both deals with the devil. What a scrub. So I'm going to take the Book of Shadows here. And I'm going to roll uh, down here on the spike room. And I'm just going to pop Book of Shadows. I don't even know if this works. I use this room so rarely. But uh, let's try it. Okay, it doesn't work at all. Wait. Maybe it absolutely works. This has given me a chest. Does it give me anything else? It lasts so long, I'm always very surprised by it. Anyway, well, that, I guess, earned us two cents and a bomb as a result of that. Uh, so let's go back here and take Guppy's paw back. That was very weird. I was hoping that we'd get some kind of, you know, better golden chest there. Sadly, no. Uh, pro strats now. Thank you very much, Chad. <laughs> Thank you very much. It doesn't happen all that often, I gotta say. Uh, so do I want to go to the shop here? Not really, uh, but I do if I can get 15 cents. So I think, uh, what I want to do here is, like, blow this up and hope that it gives me a penny, which it did, and then we'll go to the shop and we'll see if we can buy something useful in here. And it's the compass, so I would say, uh, that this absolutely turned out very well for us. Hey, Kate! I'm playing the Binding of Isaac for Twitch TV. <laughs> yes, Ruka, yes, Ruka. Um... So, good! Uh, that floor turned out interestingly uh, at the end, but we're still uh, definitely not in the position where I feel super strong. We don't have the Polaroid yet, so we don't have permanent Polaroid invincibility. Uh, we don't have any keys, and we can go to the mob, or sorry, the boss trap room, which is very important. And now I'm, again, hoping to stack HP so I can eventually either trade it for a deal with the devil or use Guppy's Paw to give me a uh, lot of spirit arts that I can use to carry me through the rest of the game, potentially, although... Uh, I'm not 100% sure if uh, that's a likely scenario. But anyway, we're fine for now. Uh, as long as I don't take too much more damage, that is a range upgrade, which, to be honest with you, I probably will take. But let's check out our item room first. Uh, that is the shears. And this is a, like, we've had all of these uh, difficult decisions to make so far. Like, Guppy's Paw, the shears, Dead Sea Scrolls, and Unicorn Horn all could be very interesting. I think I'm going to stick with Guppy's Paw. Uh, well, I'm going to pick up the shears just so it doesn't show up again, but I'm going to... Um Stick with Guppy's Paw, because I think this will help me out in the late game. But that could be a decision that would actually hurt me a little bit. Yeah, it is probably best, as, as a lot of you guys are saying, to uh, use the shears for the boss and then take Guppy's Paw again. But uh, let's not worry about that too much for now. I, I, I'm strong enough to take out the boss without worrying about all this backtracking in all likelihood. Um, I, I hate the fact that, you know, this is something that I, I think is just basically randomness fucking me like we in the last like five or six videos that I've recorded there have been very few games where I actually got HP upgrades usually HP upgrades are you know they, they come all the time uh, and you know you can get three or four HP upgrades in the first six floors but uh, in the last five or six videos I've recorded it has not been rare uh, for there to be literally zero HP upgrades so uh, it hasn't been the greatest time for me especially when I'm looking to play with my current strategy which is you know getting as many deals with the devil as possible but anyway uh, still doing alright here, got a lot of range upgrades, if we could maybe snag a lump of coal, I would be okay with it, but, uh, we'll, uh, cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose, first things first, let's just not take some damage here, uh, each of these guys will be one heart, I believe, and we can't really afford to let that happen, so we've reached another dead end, playing, uh, so far so good, I would say, although, uh, it could be better, this room always scares the shit out of me, because of my puny ape brain is not strong enough to do the calculations and not get hit, uh, but I have the range advantage necessary to take that guy out, and this guy as well, I assume. More hearts dropping, and of course, now that I have no, uh, red heart containers, little Chad is dropping, like, constantly. Uh, we are gonna explore the entirety of the floor, because again, bombs and keys are, uh, the lifeblood of, of any run, but in particular this run right here. Solid dodging! Attack flies are actually helping me out a great deal now. Uh, and we might just go fight the- oh my god, we gotta do this exact same shit over again. Let's try to, uh, repeat unlikely greatness. Pretty lucky so far, and, uh, okay, I think we should just fight the boss right away. And then we'll consider looking for the secret room or something like that. Uh, we have a tinted rock, we have some nubs, and this should be a fairly easy fight against Gertie, uh, but I do have some riffraff to deal with before we really get started here. If I can really, uh, get those nubs dead, and then just use these attack flies to do the majority of damage to Gertie, I think it would be in my best interest like this. Uh, yeah, that worked pretty solidly there. So let's just keep this up. We'll take care of that nub on the eastern side of the screen in just a second. I shouldn't say eastern side, I should just say right side. Because we don't know what way the sun's facing. Or the magnetic poles of the earth are. Uh, without having... Oh, I guess we do have the compass, so I can say whatever the fuck I want when it comes to cardinal directions, can I? Now, well, 
Hey, hey, don't be an asshole about this, nub. You're the last thing standing in my way. And a speed upgrade. You know, I can't make this damn S up. Sorry, apologies for my language there. Please, uh, more spirit hearts. That's good. Um, HP upgrades just continue to not fall, which is very unfortunate for me. Uh, especially, you know, if I can't play that Demon Judgment, we can't get anything there. Uh, we'll go to the right side here. Easy gets. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. It's actually been, uh, the, the closest I came to death was definitely, uh, when I walked into those curse rooms by accident. Uh, but beyond that, it's been a pretty decent run so far with respect to not taking damage. Uh, part of that is luck, and, you know, maybe my mind, just for once, is in the right headspace to be, uh, dodging in the Binding of Isaac. We're still not really that safe, because we only have six Spirit Hearts, we don't even have permanent Polaroid Invincibility yet, and we've gotten zero HP upgrades. Guppy's Paw has been, uh, an absolute waste for us so far, but again, we're banking on it eventually becoming, uh, more important in the late game, so that chest was absolute trash. Uh, it is time for us to leave this floor, and I guess, uh, just immediately go down to the next one. So... Uh, yeah, we're gonna be on the Depths Part 1 or Necropolis. If we're on Necropolis, I'm pretty concerned, uh, about what will happen there. But we do have a mini-boss here, which means that we do not have a mini-boss in our shop on this floor, so I would be, uh, a very happy man if I could, was able to go to the shop, maybe buy a map, maybe buy, uh... Well, actually, at this point, I don't even know if I would want Blue Candle. Blue Candle would scare me, because it would put me in that position where I would have to, you know, guess which spacebar item will end up being more beneficial for me as well. Uh, in the late game. And if I'm rolling with Guppy's Paw for this long, I might as well kind of stick with it, honestly. I am glad we took the pact, though. I think that ended up being a smart idea. If it were not for the involvement of the chat, I probably would not have taken that, and I would have found myself uh, probably having a little bit more of a difficult time right now. Good more red hearts that I can't possibly use. Um, we'll bust up these nubs here. People are telling me to use the Devil card on the boss. Uh, that depends what boss it is. In all likelihood, I will save the Devil card as long as I can, because you never know if maybe we won't get a better Spirit Heart uh, for like the entirety of the game. So, just being very cautious with this uh, Bicycle Helmet Man here. A couple more hits. Uh, should be enough to put him in a position where I can feel a little bit more comfortable at least. And this is a dead end uh, with our item room also on it, so we'll take that money, which might make the shop worthwhile. Mom's pad is absolutely terrible. Let's drop that down here and take Guppy's Paw with us. And yeah, we'll probably go to the shop on this floor just because there's no reason not to. We know that it can't be greed. In fact, if it was greed, it might actually be better for us because we might be able to snag some money. Uh, but... Okay, Mom's Pad is not a terrible item, but Guppy's Paw is probably better for us in this situation. I apologize, Chad. I know the Mom's Bra and Mom's Pad have some dedicated uh, supporters out there. There are much better spacebar items. It's not horrible in its effects, but it's horrible relative to other spacebar items we could have and have had, I guess. Uh, in my opinion, at least. Let me just, you know, check my privilege there. Uh, we'll continue going down, you know, Necropolis, difficult floor. Uh, these are some of the tougher rooms that we're probably gonna face down here, unless we run into those goddamn Masks of Infamy, which are the worst things in the world. Uh, at least at this point of the game, especially without something, uh, like a long-range high damage attack, like a Brimstone or something like that. Or the ability to fly and just hide over rocks, but this room is gonna go down just easy, like an Arnold Palmer on a hot day. Oh, and of course, otherwise it would be far too easy. Doesn't Far Too Easy just sound like a flatulent rapper? I, I believe you me, I am trying to think of rhymes that he would say uh, as we speak right now. But uh, this is our way to the shop, almost certainly. Uh, I'm going to get myself hit at some point. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. I can't believe I haven't been hit in a long time, actually. I, I'm playing a surprisingly, you know, above average Binding of Isaac game. Uh, from By my own standards, at least. Uh, let's continue moving left here. I like how Moobot is still doing, like, the... Uh, Josh and, uh, Nick pimping right now. It's like, no, Mubot, this is my show right now. Uh, bum friend, not that interested in. I will buy the, this spirit heart, because that is essentially, uh, my lifeblood at this point. And the pill might be a good idea as well, but I'm kind of saving money in the hopes that, uh, I will be able to, uh, get something- Whoa! Okay, be cautious there. I can't believe I didn't get hit. Uh, if I'm able to get something better from the shop on the next floor, there's a decent chance I'll just end up fighting Greed on the next floor, because I haven't fought him yet. Uh, but I still don't know if it's worth going for that pill. We'll, we'll think about it. It's def in my opinion, it's definitely not worth getting the bomb friend in the situation anyway. Uh, can we actually... Yes, we can escape from here, because we got three free bombs. Now, what I should do if I'm a smart guy, and most of the time I'm not, uh, we're just gonna put a bomb down here. And, uh, there we go. Two bombs for the price of one. And, uh, we'll drop one here, just to see what we got. More spirit hearts is, uh, fantastic for us. I've had a remarkable discipline when it comes to not losing health so far. 
We have uh, these assholes. I, for whatever reason, I kind of feel like this is going to be the room, the first room where I take damage in quite some time. I don't know why. Uh, I think it's because this bomb fly is like unavoidable. Oh my god, it like bounced off the other enemy and made it so I didn't get hit. That feels good. Oh, there we go though. I knew it. I, didn't, I don't know what it was. Just like a assortment of some of my least favorite enemies in the game. Plus there being so many of them, I think is what did me in there. But anyway, bomb fly should create itself in just a second here. Then we'll take it out from afar. Beautiful. Uh, fantastic. Let us go and fight the bloat, which obviously I am not the biggest fan of, especially since I can't fly and I don't do that much damage. It's also a champion version of the bloat that fires uh, some green homing bombs. So this is going to be an interesting fight. Can he still... Yes, he can still fire sideways. I'm glad we figured that out without actually having to take damage ourselves. This is going to be uh, by far the most difficult boss fight that we've had so far. Hopefully... Uh, oh my god, stop jumping! I think this is a third eye blind song or something? Okay, now we get the creep to disappear. And we... Uh, I can't even do any damage to him when he does this. Like, I can come in and do like one shot occasionally. He exclusively jumps. There we go. Now he's created some creep. He should, uh, like, fire his, uh, even if he fires his lasers, I can dodge those Monster 2 style, uh, rather than, you know, taking 45 minutes to do even a little bit of damage to him as we are right now. Uh, I forgot that we don't have Lump of Coal, but I'm trying to abuse this range advantage anyway, because obviously, oh, ah, there were so many things, like, intersecting at once there that I had to dodge. I, yeah, and that, now we're playing pretty badly. I want to drop a bomb to, uh, help speed up the whole, uh, seduction process here, but unfortunately, uh, it's not really gonna work that well for me, because, oh, it's not gonna be that reliable for me. If it hits, it'll work quite nicely, but, uh, I can't rely on it because he, he jumps so often. But anyway, we, we've only taken half a spirit heart worth of damage here, or we've taken one spirit heart worth of damage here. That's still pretty good, all things considered, I would say. Uh, for a champion version of bloat with the items that we have uh, there are a fuck ton of silkworms on the level right now like Perhaps a literal fuck ton Like there is just a one two thousand pounds of copulating people uh, That are effing my a right now, but in any case hey we got out of it and we snagged an HP upgrade and uh, We have our deal with the devil which has brother Bobby which is probably not worth three spirit hearts Which is functionally uh, the way we have to think of it right now. I would say it is time for us to go down to the next floor uh, and we'll see if... Okay, we know that there is not... This is actually a very good situation. There is not a mini-boss in the shop because there's a mini-boss somewhere else on the level. And of course, we just have the steam sale here, which is not even worth buying this late in the game. But we will buy the Spirit Heart. If we find the secret room, uh, we will definitely come back and play that judgment. Uh, we will... Okay, now we have seven cents. That's probably worth playing judgment on now. Uh, and of course, we get the Razor Blade, which is another uh, space bar item that I'm not interested in. Arcade doesn't really interest me either. At this point, we can kind of just bum rush the boss. I'm, I'm following the chat and I had a heart attack. Somebody said, why did he pick up the stem cells? And I was like, I, I thought it said, why didn't he pick up the stem cells? And I was like, oh, I'm never going to hear the end of this one. Misses will have my head over that. Uh, but yes, I, I, I picked up stem cells because it's a health up and I can eventually use Guppy's paw to uh, turn it into three spirit hearts. But for now, I might be able to turn that HP upgrade into a mom's knife or something or a spirit of the night via a deal with the devil. I, like, I prefer to wait on Guppy's Paw uh, until, at the very least, I have uh, Polaroid, so I can get the Polaroid invincibility that you get from getting hit when you only have Spirit Hearts, uh, or until we don't have the possibility for any more deals with the Devil, which is typically on the first floor after you fight Mom. Uh, so I'm gonna... yeah, more money. This is making it very likely that Judgment is going to pay out. And again, I'm still very pleased with the way that the game has gone so far from a gameplay standpoint. From an item standpoint, I would not say we've been very lucky. Normally when I do these Twitch runs and we do like three Isaac runs, the first run is just like, hey, you got Epic Fetus. And the second run is like, you died. You, the third run, you died. Uh, this run, I'm definitely, it's bucking the trend, shall we say. Now, uh, here's something interesting. We know that there is greed in the, uh, did I pick up the razor blade? We know that there is, um a greed in the secret room which is gonna drop money probably because the steam sale already exists oh that was really bad in the shop that was the worst damage we've taken so far this run um he gave me the map map plus compass great combo obviously uh but if i what, what i was gonna say is we could fight him if we needed more money for judgment but we actually don't need more money for judgment obviously okay thank you chat i will pick up the razor blade uh and then pick up guppy's paw again just to make sure that it doesn't come back in the uh rotation later and uh, with the map and the compass great combination obviously we'll uh, come down and fight our boss here I might use 
the devil card on mom, but again, the longer I can save this, the better it will be for me in the long run. And if I'm fighting regular mom, I would not say that the devil card is a necessity. Uh, I would say that it would be uh, nice to use, but uh, it, it's definitely not something that's going to make or break the game here. We should be able to beat Mom fairly easily regardless, especially if I can get these attack flies to actually do some good work, uh, which is... Uh, I'm, I'm skeptical about it, but it's possible. Uh, if it happens, it's going to be like almost entirely unintentional. let's put it that way. Uh, so Glenn is dead, and our crowd control is pretty bad. We are about halfway through Mom here, and again, saving this Devil card is going to do a lot for us in the long run. Hopefully, if we end up being able to use this against a... Uh, Isaac or maybe or even a mom's heart later on. Anyway, health is good. We're gonna get the Polaroid here, which is gonna give us permanent invincibility. We can get a deal with the devil here, but it would require us to have a, like a teleportation card that we can take. Ah, it was almost really bad. A uh, teleportation card that we can take out of the boss room. We can take us out of the boss room. And we got Squeezy, which is great, not only for the tears upgrade, but the extra spirit hearts as well, because I will be rolling on permanent uh, spirit heart invincibility soon. Permanent Polaroid invincibility. Sorry for the change in nomenclature. Beautiful, okay. Down to the next floor. Secret room is right here. Might as well see if we have an Ankh or a one up or something. It's a portable, or sorry, the, just a regular slot machine, not a portable slot. Oh, eh, I can't believe I didn't take damage there, but I quickly atoned for it by immediately taking damage right afterwards, so that's okay. Now's where things are gonna get real. Uh, I could possibly uh, use Guppy's Paw to give myself permanent Polaroid invincibility right now, but again, I prefer to uh, wait on it until we see if we get a deal with the devil from this fight, uh, just in case, because I'd hate to lose the opportunity to pick up a mom's knife uh, as a result of this. That was, um, again, bad dodging. I hate dealing with this room over and over. Womb is easier than you. I always get confused about the order of uh, the floors. Because Wrath of the Lamb at this point has just become basically the Binding of Isaac to me. I always forget whether the womb is harder or utero is harder. But I'm pretty sure the womb uh, is the original. And thus the easier of the two. Maybe wrong. I'm sure chat will let me know. I'm sure chat will be 100% honest about it as well. Uh, okay, still good for health. Nah, we can't really do anything with that. This room has a definitive order to it, which should make it very easy for us to take out. And please drop a spirit heart if you have any sense of goodness in your body. Well, we will take the money at least. Uh, and a couple more rooms, we will find ourselves in the boss room. So, uh, it should be a fairly easy room for us. I really can't afford to take damage, largely because uh, we have no means to replenish our health. Really, and once we start rolling entirely on spirit hearts, uh, that's gonna make things uh, so bad. Uh, it's gonna make things difficult. Is the polite way to put it. Fucking really insanely stressful for me might be the. That's a little bit of a hyperbole there. But anyway, uh, more red hearts that I can't use yet. All right, fine. Uh, we're gonna have Skolex. This is a, a beautiful boss fight for us to have right now. If I can get Attack Fly to just hit him a couple of times, uh, we should be in a very good position because that will do uh, a ton of damage to him. Unfortunately, you know, there's faster ways to take out Skolex, but I really don't want to waste any bombs. We're about a third of the way through the Skolex fight at this point. Oh, now we're like two-thirds of the way, as I said, uh, Attack Fly doing good work there. So if we get an HP upgrade and then a deal with the Devil, uh, I would happily forego picking up six Spirit Hearts for two HP upgrades to, to make it happen, uh, depending on what the item is, but uh, otherwise we're going to end up using Devil's Paw in order to give ourselves some more Spirit Hearts. But for now, take this guy to town, and with him being dead, we did get the HP upgrade, so the first half of the prophecy is coming true here, and then we get Lord of the Pit, which is very tempting, but I'm not sure... This is a very difficult situation for me to choose from, actually. The extra six spirit hearts from uh, Guppy's Paw might be more beneficial. I'm gonna leave, actually. So I'm gonna leave, fuck the flying item, and I'm going to use Guppy's Paw, and then we'll go down to the next floor and, and make this happen. I agree that six spirit hearts is better. And, you know, now that we have map and compass, we shouldn't need as much health as you need on an average run, uh, simply because uh, I do have map and compass, so I should be able to find the boss rooms more quickly, which means I go through less rooms, which means I, uh, should take less damage, but it's gonna require good play as well, and, uh, you know, hopefully some kind of boon somewhere down the line. We are Kane, so pills are good. Uh, we might as well just take it right away. Bombs are key. That actually is okay for us in this situation. Uh, it's gonna make the mom's heart boss fight a little bit harder. You know what? For two keys, I will do this. I'm assuming we'll get one more key before the chest if we even manage to make it there. We got one bomb for two keys. Not necessarily a great trade. Uh, and again, still holding this devil card from basically like the start of the game. That was really bad damage to take from the laser. Uh, I am going to drop... I, I'm very tempted to use this devil card. Don't get me wrong. 
Uh, and I should save at least one bomb in case we come across two of rocks later. So this is going to be a difficult uh, boss fight, or a more difficult boss fight than the average mom's hard boss fight, but, uh, you know, it's still a pretty easy pattern to deal with. It's just going to be a war of attrition, so I don't necessarily trust myself to not take damage uh, against the myriad foes that we're going to be dealing with. Oh, I can just hit him with the fucking attack blast. It's way easier. So zombies should be next. No, Larry Juniors, which means I am doing uh, very, very slowly what normally happens pretty quickly. Attack flight did some good work there. It's gonna be slow. More lasers have spawned, which is not my favorite, but uh, again, if we can save this bomb if it gives us spirit arts later, uh, that's very good for us. Thank you, attack fly. I hate these dudes. Hopefully, mom's heart. I, I never actually like looked into this, but I don't know if mom's heart can actually spawn the version of these uh, that has the bomb flies uh, with it. I agree, by the way, with with uh, what was just said in chat right now. Apologies, I can't really take the time not to see your username, but you said uh, double attack fly surprisingly effective right now. I agree. Single attack fly. Doesn't really st oh, strike me as that useful most of the time. Uh, but double attack fly is doing some serious work right now. I appreciate it. Now, uh, I'm very tempted to use the devil card. Uh, but I'm going to hold on to it because if we can hold on to that until the Isaac fight is a uh, great service for us. Because that's going to be substantially more difficult than this one. Uh, we're not going to get any more items before it as well. I think we could reasonably uh, find ourselves dead on that fight. People are yelling me to go to the library next. I guess after, I didn't realize, but after we, uh, I got total tunnel vision. After we beat Mom's heart, maybe we should go to the library. We have keys necessary. Uh, if I'd known that there was a library, I definitely wouldn't have wasted the keys on that golden chest. Or let's not say definitely. I probably wouldn't have wasted the keys on that golden chest. I've made foolish decisions before. Uh, double telepathy for dummies can ruin his run. I don't know if it would ruin my run. This wouldn't, you know, support my run. We're only halfway through this Mom's heart boss fight. This is a, a long one, to say the least. Back it up just a little here. We don't have any creep to worry about yet. Would Lord of the Pit have changed things for us? Well, it would have saved us a key so far, uh, but we would have six less spirit hearts, which would put us at like two and a half right now, which would be pretty scary. Uh, that would definitely have me feeling less comfortable. I certainly would have popped the devil card as well. And now Mom's Heart should be almost at the point where it's continuously firing bombs. This might be the slowest Mom's Heart boss fight that I've had in, in weeks, at the very least. And, and I play this game on basically a daily basis. Uh, the attack flies. Uh, watch out for the laser bullet flies, which I took a hit from right away. I should have invincibility right now, so that's why I'm just walking in here and, and doing damage with my orbitals. Uh, eventually this fight will be over, now that we can get some sustained damage, it seems to be going a little bit faster. That could have gone much better, but it's over now, and we actually picked up a Spirit Heart as well. So let's go back and pick up, uh, oh, but going to that library is going to take us so much time. Yes, this is right, someone in the chat just said, getting butt-fucked in four rooms could ruin this run, though. I agree. I don't think we should go to the library, I think we should just move onwards. Um... So there is a... Uh, should I use the bomb to find the secret room? It's one of the situations where the, the risk is not necessarily super high. The reward is enormous if we can get an onk or a, a one-up or epic fetus, god forbid. Uh, let's try to make this happen. It should be interesting. Uh, at the very least. The Isaac fight is going to be a big moment of truth. And then, you know, I, I've gotten absolute dog shit items on the chest lately. I, I don't think I've gotten a good item on the chest in at least like 10 chest runs. Uh, so hopefully that ends up, this ends up bucking the trend. Uh, let us see what we have with uh, this pill. Bad gas. Not that exciting, I guess. Uh, there is a, I guess I should go to the secret room. I don't know. Why are these guys at half health already? Is that a tack fly doing some serious work? I guess it was. One up would be worthless? I don't necessarily agree with that. It might be true. Oh, you're right, I should have gotten him to open the secret room for me. But anyway, here's our bomb. Uh, we get Six Sense, my favorite Haley Joel Osment movie. Uh, competing against, uh, you know, basically nothing, I guess. Uh, and down here we'll have a couple double sloth rooms. I've had this room a lot lately, and it's gotten more and more annoying. I used to think, like, oh... That was the worst damage. We used to think, like, you know, double sloth room, who gives a shit? Uh, but lately, green bombs have been kind of screwing me over. And I always forget that blue candle uh, blows up the green bombs in midair, which is uh, unfortunate because that causes some issues for me. Obviously, we'll take Bob's Rotten Head. Maybe there's a secret room or something over here. In fact, maybe I should just roll with Bob's Rotten Head forever, but uh, whatever. Let's continue moving on here. We still have the Devil card. Skipping a lot of rooms here, which is very nice. And uh, one Monstro 2 fight, and then our fight against Isaac, where it's going to be a big moment of truth. You know, we'll have the uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility. We'll also have the Devil card at our disposal. We'll have the attack fly, so if I stand in a good kind of radius away from him, they can uh, tear him up pretty nicely. But uh, I'm skeptical about how this is going to work. Let's destroy this man. 
Oh, uh, I played chicken with him and it was a bad idea. There we go. Red patch. I can't take it, unfortunately. All right, let's do this. We'll take the devil, or we'll pop the devil card and then um, try to do uh, the proest dodging that has ever been done. I doubt that it is going to work out too well for me. I'm actually doing a lot of damage to him every time we get hit. Uh, if only I had something like the wafer, that would basically double our odds of success. Or double our effectiveness, which would probably like quintuple our odds of success. But anyway, uh, there we go. We're going to get him down to the second phase in all likelihood uh, by way of this invincibility. Almost. Anyway, this is not going very well at this point. Now, we're about halfway dead, I would say, but we're also about halfway dead, so it's an interesting... Uh, kind of position we find ourselves in at this point. Uh, let's continue doing this. If only we had Poison Touch, it might be a little bit better for us. I'm, well, thank you to my Kiba Meat for stopping that. And at this point, I'm very skeptical, but we are in the third phase of Isaac. The Angel Fetuses are going to be real annoying. But if you just hold the right button down, you can make it happen. Get off a little, oh, that was kind of close. Real problem is the crowd control on these angel fetuses because I'm not going to be able to dodge these guys as effectively as I dodge other things. Uh, we do have invincibility here for a second in case you are not familiar with the Binding of Isaac. On the third invincibility, uh, you don't get the vision on it just due to a glitch in the game, I suppose. So that's why I'm running in there even though it looks like I'm a fool to do so. Alright, this is the moment of truth here. we got to at least kill Isaac. He drops some health that I can't use. Now, will we survive against the angel fetuses? It's <laughs> a toss-up, honestly. We're going to live, I think. Don't get hit here, and then, all right, let's uh, have something good happen on the chest. First item, forget me now. That's a, a cruel joke. Second item, poison bombs. Third item, a whore of Babylon, just in time. Um, I guess if we had more keys, we could just pop the forget me now right now and, uh, you know, get more items, but we don't have more keys, so. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. You know, one more hit will kill us, but, uh, Hopefully it won't be on this room. I hate these spikes, but there we go. All right, Daddy Long Legs, uh, you know, it's possible that he would end our run here. If we can at least get to Blue Baby, I don't know if I'd say I consider the run to be a success, but I'd consider it to not be an utter failure. Getting to Blue Baby is fairly difficult, and keep in mind, we got like zero HP upgrades. Uh, we got two HP upgrades over the entire course of this run. Uh, and there's kind of some randomness associated with the Daddy Long Legs fight, so I can't guarantee my own survival. We might be able to kill him now. There we go. We got a nickel. I was really hoping for a spirit heart for probably obvious reasons. And it's just fitting that this guy's going to end our run. I can't believe I threaded the needle there. It's fitting that the bloat is probably going to be the death of us here because he also sucked so much of our health earlier on. Anyway. Keep it cool here. Now, if we beat the bloat, in all likelihood, all we have to do is defeat uh, the hardest boss in the game without taking any damage. So, uh, I, have, I have a ton of hope for that happening. Please, uh, you know, actually jump now. Lord of the Pit would not have saved us from this fate, I guarantee it. Oh, well, now I'm going to get trapped over here, and then he... Oh, I walked on the creep. I tried, I tried. Uh, that was a decent run. I had a good uh, time with that regardless. Let's go back to our main menu here. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, as always, thanks for watching. If you are watching on Twitch, uh, you totally would have won if you had the shears. That might be true, actually. That is GG worthy, though. Where's my laugh button? when I need it. I guess it is over here. In any case, yes, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Continue suggesting your challenge runs and voting for those challenge runs as well. Uh, I will uh, see you in the next video. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm just going to take a short break, run an advertisement here, and then I'll be back to record another run. So as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.